Hey everybody. Um, I just got back from vacation in Florida. We went with our grandkids and kids to um, Orlando Disney World. And um, I, um, we, of course, you know me, I had to stop at all the thrift shops along the way. So I'm just going to show you some of the goodies that I got while I was out and about. First of all, I'll show you what I bought new at Disney World uh, and the Disneyland area. I bought um, three types of polka dots and to match um, the little uh, Minnie Mouse. So I'm going to make some outfits for the girls, um, the dolls. And here is a little charm bracelet I got with Minnie Mouse, a little bow on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the charms off of this bracelet, which I paid $2.99 for, and make little necklaces for the dolls. Uh, another thing I got was the Minnie Mouse um, hair, hair ponytails for their hair when I do their hair. I thought that would be really cute. Another uh, new thing I bought was they had, uh, Joann's had their 4 hour 75% off, or 25% off sale. So I bought some of these um, Halloween prints. Um, they're small, but um, when I, I bought these particular because I want to show you what I got at the thrift stores. Um, we went to um, Goodwill and they had both the uh, uh, holiday inspirations. They had the purple types and the yellow types with the pumpkins on them. And I saw the uh, purple and black um, spiders and I thought that would go great together um, having um, those uh, as a costume for the dolls. So that's some of the new stuff I bought. Um, and when I make the Mickey Mouse outfit with the ears and the dress and everything to match the Mickey Mouse stuffed um, animal. I'll, I'll do a video on it. So that was some of the new stuff I bought. I found three dolls. This is an uh, 18 inch Our Generation doll. Uh, the, I didn't know anything about this doll till after I bought her. She is uh, Sophie. Um, she is one of those dolls that have the pull out hair where you can um, put it in, make it, she's got the knob in the back of her body where you can pull the hair in and, and pull it out. But I went online and I read a whole bunch of reviews on her and the people are complaining that the hair is so matted and frizzy you can't fix it. So I'll try the um, downy dunk on her and see if I can fix her hair without getting any of the downy inside where her mechanism is and see if I can fix her hair. But um, she looks almost brand new if it wasn't for her hair. Her body has no marks on it. I paid $4.99 for her, so I went to Target, and Target now has her on sale for $15.99. Um, so they've been getting a lot of complaints about these dolls. But anyway, that's uh, Phoebe. So that's one of the dolls I bought. I found a um, 1970s uh, velvet doll. She's one of those Chrissy dolls. This one was velvet. She was originally tagged for $10, but then at Goodwill they had a $0.99 cent sticker on her. Um, I don't know if I can fix her hair or not, but I figured for $0.99 cents I'll try. Um, she still has her uh, mechanism where you can pull her hair out. You're supposed to press this button and her hair will pop out. She's got a little bit of staining up here, but I don't know. I can always uh, bring her hair in and um, cover that up. I'll see if I can fix all this frizz out of here too with the downy dunk and see if I can. But other than that, um, she seems to be okay for being 40 years old. So at least now when you ask me about these velvet dolls or Chrissy dolls, I'll know what you're talking about. So I got that one. And then I got another 99 cent doll. She's got some um, She's just adorable. She almost looks real. I can't believe it. She's got some smudges on her. So I'm going to try and get out the um, uh, magic eraser and see if I can get the... Um, but she's so lifelike and realistic. I couldn't believe it. She was only 99 cents. So I figured she was worth trying to um, clean up. But look at her little feet. I mean, it's just like a little baby. It's unbelievable. I couldn't believe the detail in these things. They're just adorable. So anyway, I'm going to try her and clean her up. She was another 99 cent doll and I thought, well, you know what? Not bad for a baby like that. 
So I bought it. Okay, one of my best buys that I think was the um, this roll of elastic. I found this at, um, it wasn't like Goodwill or Salvation Army, it was a, oh, a ministry thrift shop, something like that. But anyway, they had like four rolls of these, bo uh, uh, of elastic, and I couldn't get all of them. So they had a pink, they had this rose, they had blue, they had aqua, and, um, but I only bought one. So I got this entire roll of elastic for three ninety nine. So I was thinking I could make an awful lot of underwear with this or bathing suits or um, if I use a dark fabric I can use this as regular elastic and uh, save a lot of money because that roll, this whole thing is just a, can you see in there? That's a complete roll of elastic. That's why I only bought one even though I would have liked the other colors. But that was one of my better deals. Okay, fabric. I got some pretty good deals on fabric. These little pieces here were only 50 cents each, so I broke down and bought them both. This one is very cute. Um, it's a um, harvest design. You've probably seen it. Um, this whole thing was 50 cents, 50 cents. I got it for $1.08. Um, but this has, um, even if I don't use the actual design, I can use this uh, trim around here for like a um, fall dress or even an apron dress for the doll. I think that would be really cute. Or I can just make it as a regular um, wall hanging. But that was 50 cents. The polka dot, I didn't open it up, but for 50 cents I got quite a bit of it in there, so I was happy with it. This was also, she gave me these pieces for 75 cents each. These have been cut before, but I thought that was a very pretty design. So for 75 cents each, it's quite a lot of fabric, so I bought it. This one I thought would make some cute, cute pants or shorts, or even a um, overall outfit. I thought that was a really cute. And this is a, um, a nice velour type fabric. I thought maybe pajamas, or it's, it's not a red, it's more like a pinkish color. But um, I think I can use this for pajamas or a costume or something. I bought a lot of doll underwear. I bought mini. These were 79 cents, so I'm going to cut these up. Can you see mini there? I bought a small. I bought the designs as small as I could get them, um, so I could um, cut them up and uh, use the same uh, design for the doll underwear. But these were all 79 cents. But look at how pretty this elastic is across here. See, you can't get this elastic unless you buy it on um, the, ba uh, the the underwear already. These are Fruit of the Looms, but I could probably, if I try hard, I might be able to get two pair of underwear, at least two pair of bikini underwear out of each one. I bought this uh, for Halloween, too, and it's got that same rose color as the elastic, so I'll make those. This was cute. I thought that would be a cute pair of underwear on the doll. That's no white. And then I got a red uh, Minnie Mouse. She's a little bigger, but I think she'll still fit okay on the dolls. Um, here's some of my better deals on fabric. This has got flaws in it, but it's three yards of fabric. And it's a denim, but it's got fruit cutouts everywhere. And I thought that would be really cute as a jumper or... Um, uh, pants or I just thought it was so cute. There are some flaws in the fabric but it's three yards and I figured for three yards I can work around it and it was only $1.99. This is beautiful too. This is um, two yards of blue lace and it's got the same edging on both sides so I could make slips with this. I can do an overlay on um, you see how you're seeing that? I could do an overlay on uh, uh, a gown. Um, gosh, there's just so many things I could do with this. But isn't that beautiful? I forget what I paid for this. This one was $2.99. This was $2.99. But it's, uh, I think it's like two yards of, um, two yards of lace. It's just beautiful. This was a steal. This was, um, this is uh, crushed velvet. Um, it was a dollar ninety nine. I figured I can use this to make a princess gown um, out of um, this 
with either white fur or uh, some gold um, braid, something that would give it that nice, um, I don't know, Victorian princess look. So, but for a dollar ninety-nine, was it nine ninety-nine? Yeah, for a dollar ninety-nine, I couldn't turn down, couldn't turn that down. Okay, this I found for 50 cents. I couldn't believe it was only 50 cents. It's a ton. It's a whole bag of um, metal zippers. When she, I asked, there was no price tag on it. I said, how much are you going to charge me for this? And she said, um, 50 cents. So they're all different colored metal zippers. Some of them are only uh, four inches. But um, I could use these for boots. I can cut them up, make them smaller, use them for boots. I couldn't believe it. I can resize all these. Some of them, um, I looked through them already and I pulled out a couple of the rusty ones, but I thought for 50 cents there's at least a couple in there that I'll be more than happy um, using. So I thought not a bad deal at all. Okay, so here's some of the more of the, let me get this stuff out of the way. But for 50 cents for a bag of zippers like that, you can't go wrong. It's just, you can't. I was at, um, I think I was still in Florida, and Michael's had a big sale, and uh, so I, we went to Michael's, and I saw this other piece, polka dot. I forget what this was. I think I have the price tag in here somewhere. This was uh, the what sort of pre-cut, so Michael's kept pre-cut fabric. This was um, $4.99, and I got it for three seventy four. It's one yard, and I thought that would look cute too with the uh, Minnie and Mickey Mouse uh, clothes, with the Minnie Mouse clothes. So I bought it. These were all in the. Uh, I won't show them all, but these were all in the um, the sales bins. You know how Michael has those um, dollar sales bins? Well, these were all in there, and they had all different colors. Well, not all, but there's like four different colors. But these were all 90 cents each. But for 90 cents, you can coordinate an entire outfit. You got uh, lace, ribbon, uh, and more ribbon, rickrack. You got shoes, uh, shoelaces. If you want to use shoelaces, you've got the little pom pom balls. So I figured for that price, you couldn't go wrong. And then I ended up buying the. Um, the Darius uh, cord for shoelaces. I got just the plain black and the plain white. I also bought these. These were $5.99 minus the 25% the, um, off. But these are um, the rivets that you put on uh, Levi's. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and make some designs on Levi pockets just in rivets alone and do a video on that. I think that would be really cute. And then I got some um, of these little uh, pins for the doll's hair. I thought they were cute. They were only 90 cents to these little hair, hair pins. So I got a couple for the doll's hair. So that was another new bag that I got. Okay. Let's see what else. Um, socks. I got so many socks. I can't believe the deals I got on socks. Oh, here's another thing I got new at the, um, at the uh, Disney World. These little purses. They were regularly $4 and they were all marked down for $2.99. I thought they would look really cute as purses for the dolls. I was looking at them and they'd be pretty easy to make um, as far as um, they only look stiff because when you open these up and you take the little card, the stuff they have inside. If you look inside there, it's just um, like um, plastic piping around the bottom to give it some strength. But you can easily make anything like this for your dolls. Let me get a doll so you can see you know, the relationship to her, what it looks like. Here's um, uh, Kyla. Let me grab Minnie Mouse. Oops. Oh, bug. Okay, so here's Minnie Mouse, and uh, here's the purse on her arm. Well, she's got a big fur on, but other than that, let's see how nice that fits. It'll be a perfect doll, um, perfect purse for a doll. That's why I got them. I got, um, I got three designs. 
Uh, mostly mini mouses, but I also got a tinker bell. Got a, uh, a black one and pink and a tinker bell on it. So that wasn't bad. I thought I'd give them a try and see what they look like. I thought they were very cute. Okay, <clears throat> so I'm almost at the end of things. I didn't. Um, I went hay. I went hay wild on some things. On other things, I didn't. I was at one Goodwill and they had their shop on the uh, seventy-five percent close off, close out. I couldn't believe it. <clears throat> this one was, uh, even though it says as is at the Goodwill, you can cut around these. Look how cute that's going to be for Easter socks with the glitter and everything on it. Very cute. These were $0.69, cents, brand new pair of tights. Um, you can see it still has the cardboard in it, so I could make the, that some really nice tights for the dolls with that. Um, these, All these socks, I couldn't turn them down. They were in the 75% off. So even though they got a purple label on them, they were all 75% off. But I thought, these are great to make these kind of socks for Halloween outfits. You can't beat this, you know. I also got a pair of uh, white 4T, 5T uh, tights. See the design on that? 69 cents. And more socks, more socks. This was $1.99 for a package of three. So I have a lot of socks to make for these dolls. But I love socks. This one is so adorable. This was also 75% off. I got this for 50 cents. It was $1.99. But look at the colors. You can match that with just about any outfit. And here's some more of the tights I got. But you know, when you, you, when you, when you buy these things for a dollar, you can usually get two pair of tights out of these for the dolls. So, you know, you can't buy them for 50 cents each when you're buying them. And you can't get these colors and tights. So um, I found this too. This was um, a piece of, I, this was fabric. It's um, a black, a really fine corduroy, and it was 99 cents at one of the Goodwills. So I thought, oh, this will come in really handy when I make um, Halloween costumes. So I bought that. I bought a couple hair pieces. I got a really nice um, uh, dark brown braid for uh, witch's hair. And then I also got another grade too, which is, um, these were both 99 cents. And then I could make a, a witch's hair out of this for dolls for um, Halloween. But okay, I'm probably kind of tired of watching you do all this stuff, but um, I'll show you this one real quick. And this one, uh, I found out Goodwill is starting to pack their clothes up, their fabrics up too. So I got this um, I got this bag of fabric for $4.99 at Goodwill. I didn't know what this was. I thought it was blue knit, and then I opened it up, and it's just yards and yards and yards of velour. And I thought um, that again, I could just I could make a um, more uh, Halloween costumes out of this. I could make dresses out of this velour. I could I just so many things and it's yards and yards and yards of it. So um, that was a new thing from Goodwill. The reason I bought this bag is because I've never seen this fabric. I don't know if it's vintage or not. But um, you have cowboy boots. You've got a red cowboy boot pattern and a blue cowboy boot. They match. And I thought, how cute is that? But um, I don't know if it's vintage fabric or what it is. I kind of think it is vintage because, I mean, I could be wrong, but I've never seen it. And it looks old. It just looks vintage. Can you see how it's been printed up in here? How they misprinted on the fabric? That's probably why it was vintage, I mean, so on sale. But I can cut around all those errors in there. This is pretty. This would be real pretty with a pair of aqua pants or a blouse or a skirt. I think that would be cute. And then um, I got some remnants of Christmas fabric. I could make this for a um, table runner. I thought that was real pretty for the price. I thought, why not? And then this one. Okay, so that was the fabric. And then um, last but not least, I bought this for $1.99. I thought that was really cute because I can use this. It's the whole thing. 
I can use this for sleeves. I can put different color. Um, let me see where you're at. I can put different color ribbons up in here and use those for sleeves on the dresses. And then I can use the same around the hem and um, weave in. Uh, that would be a really cute Christmas design. Weave in a design through the holes. So you could use this for sleeves and trim around the bottom and coordinate the whole outfit. I thought that was really, really cute for $1.99 I bought it. Probably cost that much for one yarn. Okay, last but not least, I won't go through all of these, but this was, um, all these bags were for $2.99 each, and I just couldn't resist. Let me clean some of this up. Anytime I see sewing goods, I just, you know, just, um, think I gotta have it. This I have to show you. This was a dollar ninety nine, and it came with. I opened these up on the in the car on the way home. But look at these Christmas pins. We got all these little. How cute would that be around a, a doll hat or a doll skirt? It's on both sides and it's on red ribbon. But um, this is simplicity, and then they've got the little um, trim with the little jingle bells on it. They have it both on the same. Um, Santa's hat, but I probably won't do that, but I thought, how cute is that? And then you can still hear him ring. But that was $1.99, so they ended up being 50 cents each, so that wasn't bad. I bought this bag because there was Velcro in here, and there was also um, some vintage, I had to buy these, because I love vintage stuff. I see these buttons? They were originally 40, well, they were originally $1.50, $2.00 Majestic buttons. I got this one. And these are um, the old fashioned um, prims. They're the um, fabric covered buttons, but I bought those. Anytime I see vintage, I just go crazy and buy them. Look at this, wouldn't that be cute on something? The vintage buttons, they were sold at Walmart for a quarter. Who knows how many years ago. But I got those. Got lots of zippers in all these bags. That was another reason I bought these bags because there were so many zippers in. One of those uh, belt buckles again. Uh, the buckle, 49 cents from a uh, pin. But I probably won't use that. It's kind of big for a doll, but I might. Then I got some zippers. And I got a 16 inch separating zipper, which I'll cut down so I'll be able to use that um, as a zipper. And you know how expensive separating zippers are, so I got all that in one bag for $2.99. Okay, here's another $2.99 bag. Just showing you the highlights because I got so many of this, so many of these bags. I thought this was so pretty. Look at that. Red, white, and blue trim. Three yards. Originally at Kmart for uh, 68 cents. But isn't that pretty? Won't that look beautiful on a Fourth of July outfit? More zippers. I got a big separating metal zipper. I don't know if I'll be able to use that one or not, but we'll see. The zipper. Elastic. Trim. This one is what really fascinated me. It was a um, zipper roller foot. And what you do is you use your invisible zipper and it pushes the invisible zipper up over. And it comes with three different lengths of um, uh, shafts. So in other words, the adapters, you can put them with um, for your shanks, for short machines, long shanks, for slanted shanks, for low front mounting machines. And then you just do that. And I thought, okay, well that works great, but what happens when you get down to the bottom and you have to go around the bottom of the zipper? Then you're going to have to take it off and put on your regular zipper foot. So um, it only cost originally a dollar, and I can see why it was only a dollar. But it fascinated me. That's why I bought the bag. I'd never seen it before, so I wanted to see what it actually was inside, so I bought that. Then I got some pins. Okay, and then I got... There was really nothing in here, but this is just all different types of uh, seam binding. Uh, there's some eyelets. Uh, yeah. And this one I probably could have left on the shelf. It's just nothing but seam binding. Some elastic cording. But um, $2.99, I should have left it on the shelf. Okay. These are the last ones. 
This I bought for $1.99. There's four of them. I thought they were so cute. I've never seen them. I don't know if they were a recent, um, a, re a recent purchase or an old purchase, but they're all different. Um, I, I'm, I was trying to read through the sign, but I think this was all from Walmart. Could have been Kmart, but I'm not sure. But anyway, there's a bunch of angels on here. But the cute part is they've all got um, ribbon, and then they've got the cording, and then they all got this little hanging angel on it, and I thought that was so cute. And I figured, oh, for 50 cents each, I would just go ahead and get them. Even if all I end up doing is making some Christmas ornaments for the Christmas tree. But that was that. And last but not least, I bought this bag because I saw these needles. I'm sorry, I saw the pins in here. And I said, i got to have these. I've never seen these before. This is um, uh, vintage. It's called Defender Commerce Super Plated Steel Pins. These are size 28, and I didn't know what 28 were, but on the back it says that size 28 is for heavy fabrics and papers. So I ended up buying it just for these pins, and I shouldn't have. Look at the size of those pins. Can you see that? Who's going to use that? I says, I'm going to give this to my husband. He could hammer these in something. They're so heavy duty. Do you see how big they are? I don't know if you can see that. But I'm definitely, they're like little tiny nails. Who's going to use these for sewing? Unless you're doing like heavy duty, um, they're probably a, a upholstery maker or curtain maker's pins. Because I can't ever see myself um, using a pin of that um, size. I just don't. Okay, so that was that, and then another thing I got in this one was another one of those vintage belt sets. I love these little buttons, aren't they cute? They were 10 cents. Um, see how little they are? Sierra buttons, 10 cents for a set of a nine. How cute is that? And then just more zippers. More zippers, more seam binding, more... Uh, bias tape. I got some little, I don't know, got little uh, sewing needles in here. Must have came with a kit. Okay, well, that was my adventures in uh, tape measure. That was pretty much all my adventures in uh, thrift shopping. I got a couple more socks, but I thought this would be, I got these as it is at 99 cents at uh, Goodwill. Um, but I'm going to make um, like a pajama robe out of this for Christmas instead of socks. I think I can cut these open and use these uh, reindeer as part of the um, robe. And they're so soft and fluffy. I thought it would be a really cute um, robe for the um, girls. And then more socks because I can't resist these socks. More tights. And that's the end of my... I think I spent enough on this excursion. So I'm home for a while. But look at that for a pair of tights for the dolls. Isn't that pretty? Make your own tights out of that. That would be very pretty. And it stretches. Four-way stretch, so it would be perfect for tights. Okay, I'll be talking to you soon. Have a good one. Bye.